All right, so what we're gonna do right now is change gears and move on to this larger mortar and pestle to process heavier grain. So in this gourd container, I have a small amount of honey mesquite pods and these are ready to go. This is from last year's harvest. I used almost the full container, but if we know how to preserve foods, including the acorn, these can last quite some time. So I'll just start off with a small amount. And I already started processing a bit of it. And we'll throw that in the mortar and we'll just lightly pound that down just so I don't have anything jumping out. And then I can slowly add more weight and add more force into the grinding. I just crush up the entire pod. You can see that breaks down into a coarse meal. Honey mesquite is a very powerful food. It uh, is powerful nutrition wise, but it's also a very powerful medicine. It offers uh, quite a bit. So medicinally, this is a food known to reverse diabetes. So if we make a stable diet from wild foods, acorn, honey mesquite, buckwheat, so forth and so on, we can become very healthy. I like to incorporate lots of wild foods into my diet. To make a staple diet from wild foods alone, you would have to have nuts, seeds, fruits, and roots but it can be done in just about any region in the entire United States. There was a time in the Mojave Desert where I was on a very strict wild foods diet and that's exactly what I ate. Gathered lots of roots, lots of fruits, seeds, nuts, so forth and so on. And I'll just continue on until we break this down even further. So as you can see, we have all of our mesquite processed into a coarse grain. Really, this isn't that much. So typically, we'd want to process a hell of a lot more. But what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to take this over to a sifting basket and separate the fine grain from the heavy stuff like these seeds. We can go back and pound these seeds down into a flour, but I just want to separate this to get this on the matate and mono. Now you can see we uh, sifted our grain and these are the seeds that I'm talking about. But again, we can actually process these down. These have really sucked up quite a bit of moisture. So I gotta let these dry out again. But our grain is nice and dry, and you can see that's what we're after. Not a lot here. Again, we'd wanna gather quite a bit of these. So what I'll do is I'll just take this coarse meal and we'll throw that onto our matade, and we'll grind this down a bit. A 
A lot of folks will ask me, what does mesquite taste like? The honey mesquite is by far one of my favorite wild foods. That and agave. Agave has a very similar taste to pineapple, but honey mesquite tastes a lot like coconut. It has a very, very similar taste. It's very beautiful. And I'll just break this down and we'll kick it onto this rag. So I'll be right back with you. All right, so you can see what we have here. Our honey mesquite flour is processed down into a nice fine powder. At this point, I can start cooking with it and it's ready to go. What I'm going to do is mix this in with an acorn flour. That'll sweeten up the acorn. It'll give it a beautiful taste, give that nice coconut flavor, and it'll help nourish my body. The most important thing with this process is to give thanks to the plant people and to have a deep communication with the plants in the natural world around you. Take that even a step further and give an offering to the plants. So whatever you take, not only communicate with it, and if it feels right, then harvest, and of course, leave an offering and become very, very grateful for the plant that's providing so much nutrition. Another thing that I wanna add is when using a heavy pestle and a deep mortar, you really don't have to process this too much further on our matate and mono. The majority of the processing is done after the sifting. So we throw that on the matate and mono, do a very light grind, and you can see the result once again. Beautiful meal that I am definitely grateful for. And folks, that's gonna wrap this series up. I do appreciate you joining me. I'm Jeff with PrimitiveLifeways.com and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.